hi 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 me loves welcome back to my channel if you are new you're highly welcome still again so today we are doing eyeshadow brushes for beginners so if you are not hit the subscribe button do well to hit the subscribe button give me a big thumbs up we not let's go straight into the video so i'm telling you with this very dense eyeshadow brush the bristle is really very packed and i use it for blending in my concealer I know that you can use a blending sponge for this if you prefer but these two blending sponges carry like they soak up some of the concealer so if you don't want your concealer to be soaked you can use this brush a very dense brush to blend it all out so the second brush I use is this is angle is like is part not does not have it's not that fluffy and it's big and i use it to apply eyeshadow on a very concise area if i don't want the eyeshadow to move i use this brush to apply those eyeshadow and these brushes since i don't have those brushes that are numbered so i use this one that they, they have the shape and okay like they are not i even use bh cosmetic brushes but some of them are not numbered so this one just i'm just showing you guys the brushes that can be used in certain parts of the face or the eyeshadow and as a beginner because i know not everybody will have the money to buy brush sets so the second brush is this one is still dense but smaller than the first one If you want like if you are applying like a second eyeshadow like eyeshadow you use it it will give you a concise application too and when you are applying you tap 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 so it won't get the eyeshadow all over the place it will just stay where you want it to and it is called the crease brush like this the first and the second one they are all the crease brushes but the first one is bigger the second one is this mini crease brush you need to apply eyeshadows there so the second this one is the best the best of the best this is the fluffy blending brush it's actually the blending like this one it does the job it blends everything in and you don't hold it close to the bristle as you do the others you hold it a little bit far so that you have less control of it and you apply eyeshadow with this using a circular motion you blend 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 using a circular motion it does blend out well i think i can see the difference between this eye and this one that i've not blended this brush does the magic for that so another brush is this flat brush the concealer brush you can use the one using cutting your crease for this too for use the one using <laughs> lining your brows for this i use it in cutting my crease because it's sharp it's precise it does the job well and it's well angled I think it's the flatness that gives it that this thing and this one another crease brush this one is sharp and angle that one was not angle this one is a little bit like a triangle like it has that edge so that it will penetrate into the those inner corners of the eyes when you're applying the shadows you see it just go on very smoothly to apply it very smoothly without it transferring to your transition color and use this you dab with this this one you dab 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 you don't drag you dab so that you use it uh, mostly in applying your lid your main color like this is the flat brush that this is the only place you can use it because i don't think you can use it in blending anything so it's just to use and apply your main color so i went back in with that first 
brush to blend out any harsh lines you know they when you're applying shadows they have to be continuity so i blend it out and i use that first brush the one i used i told you this the one i use in cutting my crease since i didn't want my shadow to be so out of place i wanted it to be concise is i clean it i clean those shadows so the mascara one is, a, is an instrument because you need to clean off the brows and the shadow that have fallen on your lashes. So onto my face, I go in with my foundation, the Maybelline Super Stay foundation. I mix it with the Zikel Even True in 20, 250 and Maybelline Super Stay in one coconut. Guys, are you guys seeing my hair? I'm so in love with this hair. I forgot to show you guys the whole. This is a box braid. And I love the color. I've never tried this color before. So today I said, when I saw the color, I said, it's not every time I must be making black, 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 black. I should do something different. So I went with this ash. So I blend on my forehead drag the hair out of my way blend ah oh, i made a mistake there i think i can see but i'll correct it later that line that shadow line not giving me that sharp concise tone again and guys please blend in your neck too i know some people always say that the foundation will get in on your clothes but there's nothing you can do they have to be that continuity so I go in with the fun LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade fun. I said fun before. Oh, my foundation was Maybelline Super Stay Foundation in the shade Warm Coconut. It's not fun, please. Oh, Stella. So I'm blending it out using my damn beauty sponge. And I'm not dragging it all over my face. I'm just applying underneath my eyes, the bridge of my nose and my forehead, the places I want to be highlighted. That's where I want it to be. If I drag it down or towards my cheek, the I have a very round face. So I want to create that illusion of oval face. So I'm just highlighting where I want the light to hit so that my face will appear slimmer. If you get the gist so I'm setting it immediately with my loose powder I know that this tutorial is not about the face makeup I just wanted putting it in because after the eye you have to do the face it just can't be helped you can't just apply eyeshadow and not apply foundation and all that good stuff no 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 does not go that way so for my contour highlight and all i'm using this avo professional powder palette my all-time favorite now i'm applying my contour using a circular motion guys i'm always saying this circular motion not straight line so that it won't give those harsh like as if you are drawing a line like i did in that eyeshadow it it won't appear that way so I'm contouring my hairline too. I'm always saying I don't want to look like I have a max on. So my hairline, very important. But if you have a large forehead, you can use this contour to make it look smaller. So I make it appear slimmer. So to my nose contour, I'm using just one shade darker. Because I say that the blending out the nose contour is actually more difficult so the lighter the dark you just go one shade darker if you are comfortable with two shades no problem so i'm setting the whole the rest of my face with my setting powder this step two is actually very important you know when after applying foundation if you touch it will move so you have to use the setting powder to set it in and have this brush this is a, a very concise brush and it's actually very small too 
I used in smudging out my under eyes area. Okay, it's called the smudge brush. Use it in smudging out eyeshadow on the under eye area. And this one, very angle, very tiny for your. If you are using a gel liner to line your waterline, you use that. So I couldn't help myself. I could help myself, but I didn't want to. I'm going with a blush. This time, an orange blush. Guys, are you guys seeing the orange blush on my face? Very beautiful. So I blend it out. And I wanted you guys to see the makeup on natural light. So I went outside. So guys, this is the final look. Hope you learned something from today's video. And if it's not the way you use your brushes, please share also. I'm always open to learning. On to the next video. Bye guys.